730. Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Simons. Here. Mr. Patsalis. Here. Mr. Horn. Here. Mr. Blackstock. Here. Mr. Boda. Here. Cram here. And Mr. Knotts is excused. Okay. Thank you. Next, we have the Pledge of Allegiance. Herb, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Thank you. Uh, we have approval of the agenda that's presented. Does anybody have any additions or deletions to add to it? If there are none, I'll make a motion. We approve the agenda. I'll support. And it's been moved and supported that we approve the agenda as presented. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next, we have the approval of the minutes of June 16, 2014, the regular meeting and the closed session. And you've all have looked at the closed session already. All right. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes of June, the regular meeting, June 16, 2014, and the closed session the same evening. I'll support that. All right. It's been moved and supported that we approve the uh, minutes for the regular and the closed session. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next, we have public comment. Uh, anybody wishing to speak about anything that's not on the agenda? And it's wonderful to have a nice big crowd here. It's <laughs> unusual. And they don't want to speak. Yeah, that's great. Okay, moving on to consent agenda. We have C1, the 2014 RESA millage rate. C2, June 11, 2014 Park Commission minutes. C3, the Sheriff Department quarterly report. C4, the June 2014 Building Department report. C5 is the June 23rd, 2014 Zoning Board of Appeals minutes. And C6 is the June 2014 Marine City Fire Report. And maybe uh, Under Sheriff Buckley would like to address the board? Questions? I don't have anything or shattering if you don't have any questions. Okay, does anybody have any questions for the... No, 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 Back to full staff now? Full staff. Well, no, we're not. not quite, huh? <laughs> okay, anybody on the board have any comments? No, I don't have any. My, to the my only question is I'm wondering if we couldn't, and I'm assuming this needs to go to maybe the fire authority people. Can we get some names and addresses on the reports, the fire report? Some of them have them, and a bunch of them don't. And I'm just thinking, if you're going to a specific address and doing something. But if they get called off, I don't think. No. I don't know. What did you think, Dan? Sure. On the fire board, um, she wants names on all of them, names and addresses. Yeah, there's a I lot mean, if, of they do, if they don't go, I understand if it's a call off. But if they're there for 30 minutes mm -hmm. doing something, how come we're not getting any names? Okay. I can bring it up in the next fire authority. Yeah. Okay. St. Clair does a good job on it, but Marine City misses a lot of them. Yeah. I don't know if those are the ones that get called off or not. We can check that out. Okay. Don, you'll take care of that, huh? Yeah, I checked it out. Okay, so is that all we have then under the consent agenda? Thank you. Sure. I'll make a motion that we accept the consent agenda as presented. Support. I'll support. Okay, it's been moved and supported that we accept, accept the consent agenda as presented. Um, any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to disbursements, we have the bills of $115,849.65. We have payroll of $32,377.28. We have ACH payments of $50,625.61 for a total disbursement of $198,000. $852.54. Okay, prior to okay and bills, I have one question. Uh, and the checks. 
There was a check cut to Mike for Mike Schneider on 620 for 14 clothing right here. Then there was another check cut on the 1st of July, same person, some more clothing. I know the clothing allowance for a lot of the employees is like $300. This total is $331.14. I want to know why you overcharge. Well, we can find out. Yeah, because he spent $331, and you might as well spend $300. It was on the 620. Well, I have to find out if he bought something for the park or he bought something for the DPW or, well, you know. Clothing allowance. Right. And it's him, and it's uh, to Myers, right. and yeah, clothing right. allowance again. Okay, I can. So TCS uh, and Myers again. So. We can find that out, Don. Okay, if you can find that out, I, uh, I'll make a motion to accept the, to pay the bills in the amount of one hundred ninety-eight thousand eight hundred fifty-two dollars fifty-four cents. I'll support. It's been moved in support of that we pay the bills with the find out what the um, two charges were that Don mentioned. Um, the sum of $198,852.54. Any further discussion? Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Blackstead? Yes. Mr. Horn? Yes. Mr. Petsalis? Yes. Mr. Boda? Yes. Mr. Simons? Yes. Cram? Yes. Okay, motion passes. Next, we're moving on to new business, which is a special assessment district for canals. Um, you have it before you. We have some people in the audience, I think, that put the thing together. Does somebody want to speak? Do we have any questions? These are the petition, petition circulators. Okay. I think Mr. Horn has a question. You want to yeah, ask it? Now? I've been here in the township for over 50 years, and I've always remembered Baker Canal as a private canal. And if, if it is a private canal, your deeds would show your deeds go to the center. And, and that would make it private. And I was just wondering if it was right for the board. I'm, I'm all in favor of doing away with the weeds. But I just wanted I just wanted to know if it was right for the township board to do this for private private property. I know where you're coming from. I, I, they've done they've got rid of the weeds for years. But just Baker Canal. The other canals are okay over in Craft Haven. I uh, want to go to the podium, Walter. Oh. 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 Uh, Walter Schultz on Point Drive, uh, also 393 Walnut Drive. Uh, when I first went over in 1960, my property read, you own to the center of the canal, uh, but you may not block it by putting out a dock. You must keep it open. Now they call that navigable waterway, and, and I live there. I may be wrong if it's changed, but back when I moved to the river, I was told the tax rate was charged the same on the canal as it was on a big river. Uh, that's what I was told. Now, I'm not going to argue the point. Okay, so <clears throat> that way, if they're getting taxes off our homes on the canal, we ought to get some satisfaction out of it. Uh, that's my opinion of how to handle that, because the weed situation on some of them is, is pretty bad. And uh, But yet, when you come off the big river and go, come into the canal, anybody can come in there. It's yes, open to the yes public. it is. It's There's no sign that way. says private can't come in. Yep, yeah, no, it's Navigal Waterway for anybody who wish to come through there. But that's the way the property reads from your lot line out the road right up to the center of the canal. But when you're charged taxes on that, uh, I thought it should be a little help or a little input help on that situation. In what way of help? What are you talking well, about? Well, with, with the weeds and keeping the canal clean or whatever necessary to your choosing. Who are it, you saying should do the help? The township? Yes, because of the taxes we pay. You know, I don't know about that. Well, <laughs> that's the way it's set up. When I when I bought there and moved there, that was my understanding the way it was set up. 
And if I'm being charged river property, that's quite a base on a canal. It should get something out of it. It's like paying for a car you can't drive, you know. But you pay taxes on your point drive, and it's not on a canal, and we don't do anything to the big river. But why then do we charge on the canal a high water a rate, rate on it, and you get nothing out of it either? Uh, it should be some help. What are you getting out of it? The rate should be lower than if you can't keep it, you know, up a little bit. That's all I was assuming. Okay. But that was just a question I had to ask. Yeah, I don't know what the assessments are per foot on the I know. big river versus the canal. That's why I tried to bring it up to you because I've experienced it. I'm talking from experience, not from hearsay. They, you, they charge you the same price on the canal as they do on the... That's why I don't want to move. I told my wife I couldn't afford it. She's out the hall, checked our tax rate. She's paying the same thing you are sitting on the river. Well, I said, well, then let's move. So. <laughs> What's, yeah, the assessor, yeah. And that's who I'll have to ask the question to. I just you know. was trying to put input on what people are living with over there in the weeds. And Larry, when I moved there, there was one house on the west side of Point Drive. One house on that, all the way from the bridge to Walnut. Yeah. And I looked at it I don't think so. before I bought on the river. There used to be a canal right in front of all them houses on Point Drive on the west side. And when they built the Edison plant in 1950, Nelson Smith had the contract, and he had a, he had a contract to fill that canal all the way in, all the way to the bridge. And they moved the house. So that's all filled in front of them houses. Yeah, okay, is there any other uh, talking about the uh, spraying? Is that what we're going to do? or? Of the canal? Is it spray? The they're actually going to treat the spray from ideas at the one end of the canal that's real shallow um, by is it walnut there? Water? Yeah. Oh, they will? That's part of it, the Phragmite yeah. control? The weeds aren't as high this year with the water level up, are they? Right. They were there and then they kind of disappeared now. That and the Corps of Engineers are letting more water out of Lake Superior, so it's going to keep coming up. If it, comes, if it comes up another foot, we might be in trouble for flooding. Because when the river flood, when the ice, when the ice jams in the river, it backs up about two feet. So we got to keep our eye on the level of that. So this is all aquatic approved and all that. You, you copied this after the right. Clay Township? After Clay, Clay Township's um, their policy, all these resolutions, And we ran this by our attorneys already. Yes. He's already approved yes. this. Um, I have no objections to uh, going ahead and spraying this. I think it's a great thing. It takes care of the weeds. In the, in the last few times they've done it, uh, it had no harm on the fish. That's paid by individual homeowners because they used to collect. They collected my son every well, they tried, yeah, they tried to collect, but they yeah. can't collect from everybody, so no. that's why they're here to the board. That's right. And the cost is quite low, isn't it? Yes, yes it's, it didn't seem very high to me. No, and Mr. Solowski, you were correct. <coughs> you were collecting for the other two canals yeah. prior to this? Before, I you couldn't get everybody, or it was, you had to go and ask if everyone went on it, and you got to divide it up, and I didn't know how much square footage, square footage it was for everybody. But the way this is, everybody, like, Sandy, did you get a breakdown on what it would cost the residents per year? Yes, and they all had that, you know, as they went out, they could show the people their parcel, how many feet they had, and what about what it would cost per year. It was very reasonable. Like $13 for some, you know, 60 foot This will be added to their property taxes, and then they'll be dispersed out of that to pay right. for this. Yeah, right. 
and the township will right. do all the money. Right, yeah, it's just the township was like the middleman, collect it and then disperse it and then. I just wanted to bring you up on some of the history I remember. So does anybody have any other questions, Herb, you got anything? No, that's pretty Steve? clear. Works for me. So we don't have to do uh, any motion as needed on this right now. I don't believe. <coughs> for the resolution. Isn't this to set the first year? Because there's no money involved. Well, there. We're not spending any money. No, I don't no. think it needs to be a roll. No, call. it doesn't have to be a roll call. Though. Well, we are. We're, we're going to be collecting the money and dispersing it, right? It doesn't hurt to have a little Yeah, that's call. It's not our money, but... Does somebody want to make a motion to continue to approve this special assessment district for the canals? Also move. I'll support that motion. It's been moved and supported that we move forward with the special assessment uh, district for the canals. Um, any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll do a roll call. Mr. Simons? Yes. Mr. Boda? Yes. Mr. Patsalis? Yes. Mr. Horn? Yes. Mr. Blackstock? Yes. Cram? Yes. Motion carries. Moving on to new business, stormwater discharge permit application and documents. Um, you have it in your packet. If you had a chance to look it over. Herb, can you speak anything on this from the... Uh... As far as I know, these these are rules that are required for our MS4 permit, I believe it is, which we're required to file really or three years, every three years. So the with that, we have to have a set of procedures in terms of how to manage a potential spill, if there are any changes in our stormwater runoff, which... We, we do not have a stormwater system. We have, I believe, three discharge points that are very minor, one of them being a, one single catch basin at our sewer plant. So I, I don't think these are anything out of the ordinary. It's more of just formalizing a policy that, again, has to be submitted with our every three-year MS4 permit, which is filed. And we will also, you will see coming as And that all has to do with the Northeast Watershed, which we belong to, we have for a number of years. And we're doing it as a group of, I think, 12 municipalities. Their own permit, yeah. But, I mean, we're getting, we're getting help from that organization to do all this? Or? Not really? Okay. All right. So does anybody have any further discussion about this? If so, we need a motion to adopt it. I'll make the motion that we adopt the current policies. I support. It's been moved and supported that we adopt this stormwater discharge permit application and documents. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to unfinished business. We have the education policy, which we put together a little. I don't, we don't have to do any of it. We can do all of it. We can do pieces of it. It's whatever the board is. Was this some, is this what uh, uh, Ralph had brought up about a month ago? It is. Yeah, Ralph, I'm, I'm sorry Ralph's not here, but yeah, we talked about, right now all we do is is give the employee the day off with pay to go attend these classes. They have to pay it. They have to pay their license renewal. They pay everything. At one time, we paid all this. Now, all we give them is the day off. 
That was a policy we adopted. What? We give them the day off and travel. No. No travel? No travel. No, no mileage, no... Uh... We just give them the day off. So, like I say, Ralph brought it up. Uh, we put together this a little sheet that, you know, there's some things we can do, or we, like I say, we can do all of it, a little of it, none of it. It's the board's choice. Why don't we just wait till Ralph gets back? Maybe he can explain it better. Well, they've incurred more expenses. They used to not have to pay this license renewal, $95. That's an additional well, cost. But That's probably equivalent to the travel money. Well, it depends where they're going. <laughs> Do we know how this one, 167 per year, that's the total cost. Is that per person? Yeah, that's based on the, the CECs. They need an average of... Uh, 2.0 CECs yeah. is now some of them need more like uh, Dion and Mike they need more because they some of them hold dual license well that's my question is how, how many people do we have total that have a license and how many licenses does each person have yeah well there, that, that, it varies okay. we use that mm -hmm. as just a rule of thumb that point that 2.0 yeah. it may be some may be less and some may be more in my experience, if I've got somebody that needs continuing education, I pay for it. I give them the day off, I pay for the class, I pay for their lodging if I have to. No, it's, we did all that. It's the price At of one doing business. It's we the drew price it of doing there. business. I say just look at the way it is. I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion. We just leave the uh, education policy as is. We have a motion to leave the policy the way we have it, where we just pay them for the day. I'll support that motion. It's been moved and supported. Uh, we just leave it the way it is right now. Any further discussion? Hearing none, um, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No. Nay. I'm, I'm a no. So what do we have, three? Three to three? Let's do a roll call. Uh, let's do a roll call. Okay, Mr. Simons? Uh, no. Mr. Boda? Yes. Mr. Petsalis? No. Mr. Horn? Yes. Mr. Blackstack? No. Crams? No. Uh, motion is defeated. I would like to make a motion that we table this until we have a chance to look at it better and talk with Ralph. Um, and revisit it in two weeks. I'll support. All right, it's been moved and supported that we table this until two weeks. We have more time to look it over um, and get Ralph's input on it. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um. I got an approval of the 2013 audit. We had the presentation um, two weeks ago, and we, we got all through, and we didn't approve the audit. So I'd like to just, as a formality, we had Mr. Hoskins here, uh, Scott, and he presented our audit, but we didn't vote on it. And just to make it so it's in the minutes, I'd like to have a motion to approve the audit, and um, we'll vote on that. I'm sure you all remember what we did there. I'll make a motion that we approve the audit presentation support been moved and supported that we approved the 2013 audit that was printed, presented by Stuart Bovey and Whipple any further discussions hearing none all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. opposed motion carries next we have resolution 3-2014 canals between M29 and St. Clair River okay now <clears throat> didn't we do that on the special assessment that's what this is. Oh, all right, sorry. So now we're going to approve. This is a resolution to approve these. Wow. Who wants to read this? <laughs> uh, I suppose I'll be. Huh? Yeah, I'll read it. 
Resolution number 03-2014, canals between M29 and St. Clair River, East China Township, St. Clair County. At the regular meeting of the Township Board of Trustees in the Charter Township of East China County of St. Clair, State of Michigan, held in East China Township Meeting Hall at 511 River Road, East China Township, Michigan, on Monday, July the 7th, 2014, at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. The following preamble and resolution was offered by myself and supported by somebody. I'll support. Graham. Whereas a petition has been filed with the Township Board of East China Township, County of St. Clair, State of Michigan, pursuant to Act 188, Public Acts of Michigan, 1954, as amended, on the record owner of land constituting not less than 51% of the total recorded canal frontage in the district as set forth in the petition, <coughs> requesting the improvement, improvements described as follows. Aquatic management, cleaning of the canals between M29 and St. Clair River. Whereas the aforementioned proposed district of the improvement is described as those properties fronting on, and there's a whole list of them. We'll have those on record if somebody wants to read all those. Um, whereas in order to proceed the project, the Township Board of East China Charter Township, County of St. Clair, State of Michigan, pursuant to Act 188, Public Acts of Michigan, 1954, as amended, must tentatively declare its intentions to undertake certain public improvements as wherein described in the Special Assessment District described. Whereas the Special Assessment cost has been determined to be $17,720 to be spread over five years, period, $3,544 per year. Assessment is to be spread by the way of canal front footage at a cost of approximately $1.32 per foot, yearly cost of approximately $0.27 cents per front foot. The dollar amount will be placed on the December tax bills without interest. <clears throat> whereas the same have been received by the Township Board. Whereas the Township Board desires to proceed further with the public improvements. Now therefore be it resolved that the estimate of cost therefore shall be filed with the Township Clerk and made available for public examination. The Township Board tentatively declares its intention to proceed with the special assessment hereby described. There are hereby tentatively designate a special assessment district which the cost of said improvements is to be assessed, consisting of the lots of land fronting on Craft Haven Canal, Craft Haven Subdivision, Baker Canal, River Branch Subdivision, Baker Canal, Supervisor Robert Baker Canal Plot and the Baker Canal, Supervisor Robert Baker Canal Plot number one, including parcel number listed in this document. The Township Board shall meet in the East China Township Meeting Hall, 511 River Road, East China Township, on August the 4th, 2014, at 7.15, at which time the place of the Township Board... ...shall hear objection to the position and proposed improvements on and proposed special assessment district. The Township Clerk is hereby ordered to cause notice of such hearing to be published twice prior to the said hearing in the Voice newspaper, a newspaper of general circulation in the Township. The, pub the first publication to be at least 10 days prior to the hearing. Mailing of the notice will be by first class mail and all records recorded owners of, of or persons having interest in the property in the special assessment district shall have on the Township Tax Assessment Record of their township at least 10 full days before the date of the said hearing. Said notice shall be subsequently in the following form. And then it just goes on to say about all the different parcels. So we just accept this resolution. Is that what you want? A motion to accept the resolution? We need a motion to accept the resolution as presented 
and make a public hearing date of August 4th. So move. Support. All support. It's been moved and supported that we accept the resolution number 03 2014 and to set the public hearing for August the 4th. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to announcements. Mr. Horn, or I have no announcements. I have one announcement. I met with the groundskeeper in the park the other day, and I, I commented him on such a good job he's doing. He's done a wonderful job in that park. He told me, he says, when he gets, gets all done cutting grass, he's got to start all over. <laughs> but he has done a great job. That's all I have tonight. Thank you. Mr. Pasells? I have nothing this evening. Thank you. Mr. Boda? I have nothing this evening. Thank you. Ms. Graham? I'm all good. Nothing. Oh, I have some. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Always do. I just want to thank everybody in the township and the board and the employees for sending the uh, the living memorial tree to my wife and I for the uh, um, passing of her father, Jack Umlosh, and it was greatly appreciated. Uh, I don't know why I never thought of giving one of those and being in the business, but I never did. But I planted it. It's in the backyard. and. We look at it often, and my wife and I thank everybody for contributing to that. And that's all I have. That's short. That's short for me. Huh? Well, we got such a big audience, I don't like to talk. So uh, I guess a motion to adjourn would be in order. I'll make a motion to adjourn at 8.01. I'll support. The mood is supported that we adjourn at 8.01. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you.